Welcome to this Arnold Clifford knitwear tutorial on reading your knitting when working diagonal lace patterns. This video supports the Tumbling Blocks lace scarf that's found in MDK Field Guide number 15 open and the designs are by Jeanette Sloan. This is a swatch of the Tumbling Blocks lace pattern and you can see quite clearly that it consists of a whole series of diagonal lines where you've got a row of decreases next to yarn overs. The patterning in this swatch is worked on both right side and wrong side rows and if you're not a massively confident lace knitter that can cause you some trouble when you get started. But once you learn to read your knitting it can help you enormously and make the whole process much more enjoyable and straightforward to work. So I'm going to show you in this video how to limber up for working this pattern by learning how to work those diagonal yarn over decrease patterns. So here's a swatch I've been working on and in this swatch you can see that we've just got diagonal lines going in one direction and I really think that it's worth a little bit of time worked on a swatch before embarking on a bigger project just to start to get some muscle memory in your fingers and some recognition of the stitches and how they should look when they're lining up correctly. There is a section in the tumbling blocks lace pattern where you have some rows where only these are worked and so what I've done is I've taken that and worked it back for you so I can show you how to knit it. So if you were looking at a chart for this pattern it would look like this. And so you can see we've got the right side rows which are read in that direction and so you're working a knit two together yarn over on the right side rows. And then the wrong side rows are worked back in this direction and on the wrong side rows you work a yarn over and then a purl two together. And together these pairs of rows give you these very strong diagonal lines of the decreases with the yarn overs next to them. And if you place it next to the knitting, hopefully it's fairly clear how the two relate to each other. Okay. So we've got our yarn over holes down here and the decrease line here. That's the same as this decrease line here and the yarn over holes. So I'm going to show you how this looks and feels as you work the row on both the right side and the wrong side. And I would strongly recommend just practicing this sort of pattern on a small swatch just as I say to get used to reading your knitting and seeing how things look together. So I'm going to move the chart out of the way. So our first beginning of the row is some knit stitches because we're on the right side row. So on the right side row it's always going to be knit two together followed by the yarn over. And this is how you can read it as you go. So we're going to ignore this first one because it's the end of that diagonal line. We haven't got enough stitches to work that. So we're just going to knit over those. And that's the yarn over from the finished line. And now here we come along. Now we want our decrease, our knit two together, to continue in line with this stitch here. And the knit two together is worked into that stitch and takes in the next one. So we need to work until we've just got one stitch remaining before that decrease. So we're looking at that decrease line, seeing the stitch it's attached to, and we've got one more before it. And then we work the knit two together through those stitches. And we can instantly see that that has continued our beautiful strong diagonal line there. We're now working a yarn over to carry on that row of yarn overs. So we bring the yarn between the needle tips and over the top of the needle and then we knit on. And it's repeated along the line. So here's our next row of decreases. There's our next column of decreased stitches. So that's this stitch here. 
so we want one before it because we're going to be working those two together so I've got to just knit two more before I get there so it's a case of looking at your knitting and understanding how those diagonals work so work into the two stitches together and you can see again that that diagonal is still going in the right direction we now work our yarn over and then we carry on knitting stretch out our stitches and have a look at the rest of the row here's our next decrease column so we need the one before it so we've just got one more straight knit stitch to do and now we're ready to do our knit two together and yarn over, bring the yarn between the needle tips and over the top of the needle. And we're actually now introducing a new column because we always have three knit stitches in between. So we'll just pop that next one in, oops. Knit two together, yarn over. So that was the right side row. So I showed you how to work the knit two together with the yarn over after it, and how to look at your knitting and ensure that your diagonal line of decreases is lining up correctly all the way along and you've got the yarn overs then next to them. So now we're working the lace on the wrong side row and we want to continue to make sure that we're lining up correctly. So we're turning round we got a couple of knits at the beginning just to form the edge of the swatch. And then we're working pearls because we're on a stocking stitch ground for this design. Okay, so on the wrong side row, the first thing you come to is the yarn over. That stitch is usually quite obvious. There's a nice big hole below it. It's very, very um, easy to spot. So we're going to purl that yarn over stitch and then we're putting in our next yarn over. So this time we're doing the yarn over between a purl and a purl two together. So again, we're going in the same direction as we would normally wrap in to knit or to purl. We're going over the top of the needle and then bringing the yarn back to the front of the work between the needle tips. And then this next stitch is our knit two together from the previous row. You can see the um, two loops at the base of the stitch there. That is the one we're going into first and we're purling two together. And let's just check that on the right side. You can see nice and clearly it's lining up properly with the one below. So obviously we're reaching the stitches in the opposite direction on the wrong side row. So we're doing the yarn over before the decrease on long side rows. And here we come along again. Here's our yarn over. We're just going to purl that. If you look on the um, chart, you can see that the on the um, wrong side row here, as you work along, there's the yarn over on the row below and above it is a normal purl stitch. So it's, it can be quite useful to look at the chart and see how things should be lining up with respect to each other. So we can see that we should be purling over the yarn over on the next row. So we've purled that yarn over. We now need to add the yarn over for this row, bringing the yarn round between the needle tips and then purling two together. And again, you can always check and look back on the other side of the work, make sure that you've got that beautiful run of decreases all lining in a line. And I would really recommend that you spend a little bit of time just practicing reading your knitting and getting these diagonals to line up on top of each other automatically so that you're not having to refer to every stitch on a chart because that's the moment at which lace knitting becomes much more rhythmical and much easier to work. 
There we go, there's our decrease again. And I knew where to put it because I knew where it was going with respect to that yarn over from the row below. And then we can work just to the end of the row. And it's absolutely worth at the end of every row when you're getting started on a project like this, just having a look back along the row. Is it all lining up correctly? It's much easier to correct a problem if you spot it straight away rather than when it's miles back down. So lovely decreases all in a row. And I'd really recommend just casting on for a swatch and doing some practice at getting them lined up without having to read every stitch off a chart. So this video has shown you how to work diagonals in lace when you're reading your knitting and it's shown you how to do it with a um, knit two together yarn over situation obviously on the on the way back you're doing yarn over purl two together but it's those those pairs of rows that create this diagonal lace pattern and you've worked it there by reading your knitting this will help you if you do a bit of practice on it to work the tumbling blocks lace scarf from mdk field guide number 15 by the fabulous jeanette sloan and if you'd like to have a look at our video as well on working diagonals where you've got yarn over ssk so the diagonals work in the other direction then do check out our video on that as well i do hope this has been helpful to you and good luck with your lace knitting thanks for watching bye bye